Hi, I'm Dr. John Shem, and I'd like to discuss genetics and back pain. Let's get this out of the way first. None of us can control our genetics. We are born with physical characteristics from both our parents. The more scientists learn, the more we realize many things about our health is programmed by our genetics. As we continue to learn, we now believe genetics is relevant to conditions such as heart disease, certain types of cancers, and type 1 diabetes. From an athletic perspective, some scientific data suggests there are specific genes that provide potential for more endurance, more muscle power, or more flexibility. But we cannot completely blame our genes for everything or attribute our successes to our genetics. As individuals, we should accept the principle that despite your genetics, you can enhance your health or athletic achievement with hard work, healthy habits, and a positive attitude. Potential does not mean achievement. Predisposition does not mean certainty. So what about your genetics and back pain? There have been several studies following identical twins throughout their lives, and the results have been interesting, but not necessarily conclusive. Nevertheless, we should explore some of the results. A study of twins was published in the Spine Journal in 2009. To summarize, scientists studied twin males since 1991. Twins were followed for MRI findings of disc degeneration. Twins for study include pairs with one smoking cigarettes while the other was not a smoker. Another twin group included pairs that performed significantly different physically demanding careers, heavy labor versus moderate or light labor. In this study, the smoking twin did show more disc degeneration. Surprisingly, the more physically demanding career twin had the same amount of degeneration as the less physically demanding career twin. There seems to be a disconnect from conventional wisdom. For the most part, scientists agree smoking is associated with increased disc degeneration. However, it was a bit of a surprise to see that activity levels, high demand versus moderate to less demand, did not have an effect on the amount of disc degeneration identified. With this study, there's now more ongoing research on whether genetics is a significant contributing factor to the development of disc degeneration. While the science is being debated, from a practical standpoint, remember that potential does not mean achievement and predisposition does not mean certainty. We must still do the common sense things to safeguard our spine regardless of our genetics. Do not smoke. Do not gain weight. Exercise and maintain your core muscles. You cannot choose your parents, but you can choose to acquire healthy habits that will lead to a healthier and less painful spine. This is Dr. John Shim discussing genetics in your spine. I hope you found this information interesting.